Here's how you sideload Android applications onto your Chromebook or Chrome OS device without enabling developer mode. First, go to Settings in Chrome OS, and then go to a section called Developers, and then underneath that, there should be a section called Linux Development Environment Beta, and then there should be this Turn On button. Click it, and you should be led to a page that says Set Up Linux Development Environment Beta. This will effectively turn on the Christini feature on Chrome OS. Christini, by the way, is the feature in Chrome OS that lets you install and run Linux applications within Chrome OS. When you set up Christini, you'll be asked to enter a username. This username by default is whatever your email account username is. Um, in my case, I decided to make it a custom one. Also, disk size. Now, recommended to use Christini comfortably is around 7.5 gigabytes, but honestly, if all you plan to actually use Christini for is to just simply sideload Android applications onto your Chromebook, onto your Chromebook all you really need is two gigabytes, so two gigabytes, which is the minimum that Christini needs to actually work. Um, in my case, I actually plan to install a few other applications, a few other Linux applications after I'm done with this tutorial, so I will just give Christini 15 gigabytes, uh, and then press install. This process will take a few minutes. After you finish enabling Linux or Christini on your device, uh, go back into the Chrome OS settings and go back to the Linux section of it, Linux development environment beta section of it, and you should suddenly see all these different options relating to Christini. Um, click on develop Android apps, and click on Enable ADB Debugging. Now doing this will require a restarting of the Chromebook, uh, so if you have to save or close anything on your Chrome OS device before doing this, go and do that, and then click Restart and Continue. Upon restarting your Chromebook, you'll be met with this message that says, quote, enable ADB debugging, question mark. Um, you know, it comes with this warning that says, this action allows installation of Android apps that haven't been verified by Google and requires a factory reset to disable. Uh, just something to note as you go through this process. Once you're comfortable, click confirm. It is worth noting that once you hit confirm and enable ADB access, you will be met with this message on your lock screen and it will be permanently on your lock screen as long as you have uh, it enabled ADB access. And this notification, by the way, says this device may contain apps that haven't been verified by Google. Once you're done with that step, go log back into your Chrome OS device and hit on terminal. Now when terminal opens, go, go ahead and put in the command sudo apt-get install android-tools-adb and click enter. Now once you do this, they, they will ask you, hey, do you want to really install these? Say yes or no. Uh, just push in the command Y to say yes and click enter. This command will essentially install the ADB tool. ADB, which stands for Android Debug Bridge, is a command line tool that can be used to uh, communicate, quote unquote, with your Android device uh, or Android emulator, I guess. Uh, you can do a variety of things with it. You can debug applications. You can install apps using this uh, using this tool. Uh, it's, it's a really feature-rich thing that a lot of uh, Android developers might use. Uh, I understand that that's not the best way to explain ADB at this point, but for the sake of this tutorial, it is essentially the tool the tool that will allow us to sideload applica Android applications onto our Chrome OS device. Once you're done installing the ADB tool, uh, go ahead and click out of the terminal and go get those APK files of the Android apps that you want to sideload onto your Chrome OS device. Um, yeah, here I will caution you to go to trustworthy sources to get those APKs. Um, sideloading is one easy way to get malware, especially if you're sideloading applications for, that you got from really shady sources. For example, if you're going to a website that says, hey, you can get all these paid apps for free and it sounds too good to be true, well, the general rule is if something sounds too good to be true, then it probably is. Um, so, so be cautious about it, be careful, use your judgment, um, and that's all I'll say on that. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, I will be using an, the APK file of an app called Solid Explorer. Now, I think this is a slightly older version of the app, you know, Solid Explorer version 2.5.4, and technically I can install this onto my Chrome OS device through the Google Play Store, but for this, you know, for the sake of this uh, tutorial, I will be using this APK file. For the sake of this tutorial, let's make it easy on ourselves and rename the app, this APK file, to something easy like app.apk. Now, 
we must move this file over to the Linux files section. Uh, this is necessary, by the way, to get this whole thing to work. Once you've moved all the APK files from your download folder or whatever folder you have it in all the way into the Linux files section of the Chrome OS folder system, I guess you can call it, uh, go back into the terminal and enter the command adb install app.apk. Now in this case, I'm using app.apk because that's the that's the name of the APK file that I just placed into the Linux file system. But uh, you know, I'm sure that if you have multiple APKs that you're sideloading here, you have different ones, just make sure you know what their names are and just put the name of the APK in here. So for example, if I was, I was trying to install an APK file called solidexplorer.abk, instead of putting in adb install app.abk, I would put in solidexplorer.abk. Uh, you know, you get the general trend here. Uh, but in this case, I will be using the command ad adb install app.apk. Click enter. Once you hit enter, you will be met with this notification, allow USB debugging question mark. Just press okay here. If for whatever reason you waited a little too long to hit the approve key, uh, you'll be met with this message. It's, it's okay, just enter the same command in again and hit enter. And uh, it, it'll take a few seconds, but uh, once the operation completes it you should get this command you should get this response of success now once you see this message feel free to log out of the terminal and go back into the chrome os menu or the chrome os app section and just look to see if your app has appeared here and here it is solid explorer i just side loaded this onto my chrome os device and it should work yeah works completely fine and uh, that's it that's all there is to sideloading Android applications on Chrome OS without enabling developer mode I know that if you look at other tutorials as to how to do the same exact thing you will be met with other instructions like oh before you run the adb install command you have to you have to run the adb start server command or the adb connect command but uh, you don't need to do that you don't need to do any of that um, in fact I, I'm from what I understand, those tutorials are based on either outdated information or the tutorials themselves are a little bit old. Uh, modern, well, current versions, of, well, recent versions, I should say, of Chrome OS don't really require you to go through those steps. Everything that I just showed you here right now, the simple steps of just enabling ADB debugging, uh, installing the ADB tool, and then running the ADB install command, that's, that's really all you need for sideloading Android apps onto your Chrome OS device. One last thing to know before I sign off here uh, is that this method only works for Chromebooks that support that support Christini at this point. Unfortunately, if you have one of those Chromebooks that can run Android applications but cannot um, run Christini for some reason, like the ACC 302, uh, if you're one of those people who owns one of these devices, look, you're out of luck. You're just going to have to enable developer mode if you want to sideload Android APKs onto your Chromebook. Although if you know, any recent Reddit posts are an indicator of anything. It looks like the ASUS C302 might be getting Christini soon, hopefully. So, you know, maybe that this might change, but uh, yeah, you need to have Christine, you need to be able to have Christini running to be able to go through the steps that I just suggested. Uh, and yeah, that's just something to note. Anyway, I hope this tutorial of sorts was helpful to you. I hope I didn't confuse you too much, but yeah.